Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have a process video for you about my best friend and I'm using the Felicity Jane Gray, uh, Grays Kit. So here I am using black acrylic paint and any black paint will do, but I got this at Blix, but I think they have that at Michael's and Joann's too. I'm going to squirt some black ink just into the middle of my photo. You'll notice that I placed the photo there and marked it off with a pencil where I was going to place the photo so that I could um, paint around the edges so that it'll show. Um, I am then put it, after it dried, I put it in the typewriter to type this. I could not have asked for a better friend. Rhonda heard through the grapevine that my mom had passed away. She called me right away and asked which airport she should fly into. She took a week off and was able to reschedule her patients and spent a week with me between her spent a week with me between her death and the memorial. Words cannot express my gratitude for her friendship. Now she heard about my mom's death through the grapevine and just called me and said which airport. She didn't even ask if she could come or what. <laughs> so that's a true friend. She just came out. And she and I have been best friends since we were 14 years old. We met at uh, the beginning of our sophomore year in high school. So you'll see here that I'm going to go, I fussy cut all these flowers out of the grace kit. And now I'm going to use them all. You'll see here that I'm using my Kokuyo adhesive, but it doesn't adhere onto the um, black paint very well. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting a little adhesive on there just to kind of get a sense of where it's going to be placed with the photo. And then you'll see that I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Multi-Adhesive, which is in the green and white bottle. And I'm going to start using that um, to adhere the flowers, because you'll see that the flowers start moving. Now, I'm not putting the flowers in any particular order because they're all the same, but I'm just turning them um, at a different angle when they're next to each other so that they're not all facing one way, so it doesn't look too symmetrical. So I'm moving these down because not much of the flowers was going to show when I put my photo on top of there like that. So you'll see I'm moving that a little bit. Now I'm coming with the Tombow Mono Multi-Adhesive and this is the glue you need to adhere to paint or even mixed media. So I always have this glue on hand. So you'll see I'm just putting a tiny bit in the middle of the um, die cut flowers and you'll see here that I'm going to go all around so this is underneath the photo and I keep checking to see the flower placement because I don't want it not to show after I did all that fussy cutting, right? The fussy cutting is what takes the longest in this, in this layout. Then after I do that, I'm going to get ready to place the photo. Um, but before I do that, I am placing more flowers to kind of fill in the gaps where there are big gaps and then it's the flower parts are going towards the outside of the circle, you'll see, so that it is layered. And then I'm going to take some dimensionals and I will add some dimensionals as well. So when I get to the photo, I'm going to put dimensionals on the photo, but I also end up using the dimensionals as well as the Tombow Mono Multi-Adhesive. You'll see that there. Now the dimensionals I have here are really old. I don't know where I got them. I will go ahead and link my favorite dimensionals in the description box be below. They are the Stampin' Up! dimensionals. Now that I have the foundation of the circle on the bottom layers, I am put my photo down and now I'm using the dimensionals to add more flowers around so that it goes above the photo. So it encircles the photos as well. So this gives like three different layers of flowers all around. And then since I'm using the pop dots, they're going to have a lot of dimension there as well. So once I do that, I am going to go through the embellishments and see what types of embellishments I want to use. I decide to keep this simple because I it the flowers are so busy up on top, but I do like that I have that black paint background. So I'm going to keep the dimensionals really simple. You can see I'm moving the flowers around a lot. I'm using the stays on ink and I'm going to date the stamp, stamp the date <laughs> on the label and I'm using the stays on ink for that because this label is glossy. I'm using the Kokio to adhere that to the bottom of my photo so it's a vertical layout. And then I'm going to use the die cut that says friend and I'm using some dimensionals to pop that up and I'm going to put it over the label 
And then I'm going to use the alpha that came with the kit and I'm going to spell out best on top of the word friend. Of course I have to splatter so I'm using the Dr. P.H. Martin the gold to do it into the top left, bottom right of the photo, and then the bottom left of my, to make it, those are my three areas of embellishment or where I'm going to add some dimension other than the floral middle piece. Then I'm using the Nouveau Dream Drops in Love Potion. These are so pretty because it's got a pearlized look to them. And I'm putting three dots in the three areas of embellishment. And then I call my layout done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.